Hey YouTube, so I wanted to shoot a quick video on how to multi-track record in your DAW using the Tascam Model 16 as your USB interface. It's really simple and I've had a lot of questions and comments and recently I was invited to join the Tascam forum online and I'll leave a link in the description if anybody is interested in, in participating in that forum or at least checking it out. Um, I did, they invited me, and <laughs> to my surprise, I had some of my videos, links to my videos in there, which is really cool. Uh, I, this is all a learning process for me as well, and there are some guys in there that really know their stuff. <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just an average consumer using this thing, but I do use it, and perhaps somebody just starting out on it could use uh, some tips like this. So. I'm going to show you how to multi-track record within your DAW using the Tascam Model 16 as your USB interface. Now I'm going to do this with drums. Uh, it's actually going to be three tracks recorded simultaneously within the DAW. And this is, I'm going to show you an up close picture of, of my Tascam. All right, so here we are in the Tascam. And right here, I, I'm using an electronic drum kit. And that's it right there. It's an Elise, it's an older model. It's an Elise's DM10X. It's the expanded kit with the bigger drum heads. So uh, I've got it running in right here. Uh, there's a, a left and a right uh, output on, on that device, on that drum kit. And then I'm also using an acoustic hi-hat. So this is the microphone for that acoustic hi-hat. And, and I've already got my gain level set. And you'll see I have this set on PC. Now the miscon or the the common uh, thing is that most uh, computer systems will do the playback on tracks one and two. And and if you're watching YouTube on on your PC or your Mac or watching movies or listening to music, that's true. It's going to play back on tracks one and two. But if you're in a DAW, it's a little bit different. So you'll see I have this set up set on PC, even though my my uh, my uh, instrument is plugged in here but I'm going to change that and so I've already got like I said I've already got my settings uh, established I'm going to unmute that just so I don't forget about it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into Logic Pro and that's what I'm using I'm using Logic Pro and I'm going to set it up now I this is a, a, other pro, a different project I was using but I wanted to start from scratch so what I'll do is I'll go to file and I'll go to new, all right? And this is what asking me if I want to close this program or this file. I said yes. Okay, so I have this pop up, and it's given me some options here: software instrument, external MIDI, audio drummer, uh, like onboard drums, or guitar or bass. Like you're going to plug an instrument into it, and that's what we're doing. We're plugging an instrument into it, and you'll see here audio input. It says input one and two. Okay, so. That's true, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three separate tracks. But the concern here is the playback. How is the playback going to work? Because if you look over here, it says output, your audio output is also tracks one and two. And like I said, that's pretty typical on um, most computer systems that they'll do, because usually it'll be like a two track interface anyways. So what I'll do here is an up and down arrow. I'll select that. I'll go to output. And it gives me some options here. And I'm going to change the output to tracks 13 and 14. So I'm going to click on that. Now my output's on tracks 13 and 14. Now let's go back over to the task cam. So this is track tracks 13 and 14. And I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to unmute it. And if you'll see here, it's selected on MTR. I'm going to select that to PC. My audio playback will be on that track okay so that's what that's it's that simple you just change it to output 13 and 14 so that frees up track tracks 1 2 and 3 for what I'm going to use them for and, and I and I'm doing this video specifically because somebody had left a comment talking about they had a model 12 and that was the only Two track the, the only two tracks on the model 12 that had inserts in them uh, and it's the same thing as on the model 16 was tracks one and two and he said he needed those so he asked me if it was possible well I said yes it's possible and so 
I thought, well, you know, I've had this question before. Let's do a video. So now my audio input, I'm going to set, like I said, I'm going to create three tracks. So I'm going to set this one to input one. All right. Create. And there's my track. And it says guitar. Let's just, let's just uh, change that just for, uh, okay. Drums left. Let's make that drums left. All right, and I'm gonna pan that all the way left because my drum kit is in stereo. Now let's add a track. All right, we see the output is still 13 and 14. All right, let's go to input two. Let's call that one. I should have just cloned it, but I didn't. Drums right. Okay, and I'm gonna pan that one full right. And that's so I can capture the full stereo effect of my drum kit. Alright, now I'm gonna turn I'm gonna create one more track and it's gonna be input three. Okay, so create and that is my hi-hat. And there it is. I have three tracks. They're all armed for recording. Now, let me pause for just a second. I, I forgot to turn my drum kit on. <laughs> let me turn it on before I actually hit record. We'll take a minute. Won't even take a second. Okay, maybe it takes a second. And I'm going to go ahead and select a kit, Big Wet. I'm just, that's the name of the kit, it's Big Wet. All right. So the kit's on. I'm getting uh, my, my microphone's picking up off the hi-hat hi and uh, we're ready to go. So we've created three tracks. They're all armed to record and they will record simultaneously. So that being said, let's put it to the test. I've, my output is going to be on tracks 13 and 14. I don't know how loud this is going to be. I didn't sound check it. <laughs> well, we'll <coughs> We're going to find out. So now all i got to do is in my DAW, push record and get to playing the drums. So let's check it out. All right. <clears throat> I'm coming on cold, guys. So here we go. So I'm going to go back over here to the DAW. Should have, it would help if I had a, my computer closer to my drum kit, I guess. And let's push stop. All right, I'm going to go right here before, right before my sloppy playing started. <laughs> oh, I should have. I just came in the house and sat down cold at the kit. My bad. Plus, I, I haven't even been playing drums a year, as you can tell. <laughs> so let's play this back and see what it sounds like. So here we go. Alright, so there you have it. Quick, simple, easy. It's just a matter 
of changing the output well let me let me back up somebody asked me specifically if they could multi-track record in their DAW and not have the output on tracks one and two and so I guess this is a twofold showing you how to multi-track record in your DAW and I have my drum kit it's always set up on tracks one two and three so obviously I don't want to record or use that as my my DAW playback so uh, uh, so it, it was this is to show you how to multi-track record using uh, into your DAW using the model 16 as your interface and how to change the the USB output audio output location on the Tascam model 16 and that's it it's very simple all right guys sorry about my sloppy plan but hey this is just to show you how to do it and and, and let me say this every track you just if you have if you're going to record a full acoustic set fully mic'd you just do the same thing on each track what I just did and you create separate tracks within your DAW if, if you're going to record into your computer if you're not recording straight into the Tascam Model 16 which I highly recommend because it's an awesome device anyways guys uh, thank you for watching and please uh, be sure if you have more uh, Tascam related questions uh, on on multiple Tascam products uh, be sure to go into the link on this in the description of this video and uh, find a link to that Tascam online forum. It's really good, and there are a bunch of great guys and, and ladies in there too. And uh, anyways, all things Tascam, all things recording, all things music, because music rocks the soul. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. Happy Labor Day. All right. Uh, after I finished shooting that video, there was something I forgot. Well, I didn't realize. Now, I did remove the audio output to tracks 13 and 14. And I went to share that file so I could add it to this video uh, in the editing process. And I airdropped it to my MacBook Pro here from my iMac. And uh, there was no sound. So, this is a follow-up. This is something that has to be done. If, if you're going to utilize tracks 1 and 2 as input tracks that you're going to record something through and you've moved your playback to something else, well, after you've recorded it, you've got to change your playback back to 1 and 2, tracks 1 and 2, because there's information embedded in the recording that shows it to play on that. And if you're moving it to a device that doesn't have tracks 13 and 14 as your playback, you're not going to hear it. And that's what happened to me. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So these are the tracks. This is what we just recorded. And uh... okay, so there it is. It's it's uh, the playback is on tracks uh, 13 and 14. So we have to move it back to one and two. So what I'll do, if you notice down here, it says out. 13 and 14 that's our output let's highlight all of it I'm going to click on that go down here to output and I'm going to select stereo output and now it'll be playing back on tracks 1 and 2 for video purpose editing purposes playback purposes on other devices what have you if you're doing because it'll be pretty frustrating if you make this recording and you can't hear it well that's why if you've moved your output to other tracks, which you can do, you just have to, after the video, after the recording is done, you have to select, reselect outputs one and two for playback later on. It doesn't interfere with your recording process, but it's a step that you have to take. Otherwise, you, you'll be wondering why you can't hear it, and that's why. So now, uh, I'm going to deselect that, and I'm going to turn down tracks 13 and 14. And I'm going to select PC on track one and two. And let's see if we have our stereo playback now on these tracks. So here we go. Now it's on, now it's on tracks one and two. So that has to be done. <laughs> Save you a lot of frustration because I was freaking out. <laughs> Thanks for watching.